Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video, we're gonna do a Christmas ultimate glam. Today's palette of choice, I'm gonna go into the Muse palette, which won my palette poll over on my Patreon group. These are my palettes with the runners up. This is the Kimchi Chic Holy Fairy Tale palette, which is very bright and summery. And then the other palette was the I Heart Revolution Toffee Hazelnut, which is in my top favorite I Heart Revolution palettes in the chocolate bar range. But yeah, I'll be using the Cosmic Brushes, now known as Cosmic Beauty. This is their Muse palette. And I just feel like when I look at this, it does have a lot of Christmas element to it. We've got the Me by Mitchell New Blush Shade Pumpkin Patch. I have their Revolution New Highlighters. I've got this really cute Timu lipstick to put on. I'm trying to hold our phone, but these are all the things I will be using today. So yeah, that's my video today. We're gonna get glam if you do like this type of content then make sure you hit subscribe and if you want to be involved in my next palette poll where you can decide what palette you like to see featured on my youtube channel i'll leave my patreon group down below i do have a little small chat going on there we just talk all things makeup it's great but yeah without further ado let's get christmasy okay i'm gonna start off with my serum this is the i heart revolution glaze serum so this is new in my lip care. This is the Snow Fairy Lip Mask. I adore this, it smells amazing. And I've just been really enjoying putting it on. It's got this really nice, cute pink tint to it. it. Does make your lips feel so luscious. Tastes good as well. Okay, I'm gonna use my Beauty Bay Eye Base today. I'm gonna use a really fluffy brush and I'm gonna use this as a transitional shade. It's called Haze. I don't want a lot of it though. I literally want just a wash of color. Going into the crease. There's a shade in here called Pie, which I think looks quite Christmassy. I'm gonna put this in the out corners and the inner corners. I'm gonna bring it towards the middle of the crease as well. I wish there was a gold in here. Actually, this could go as a gold. That could go nicely. I think I've done that like before though, ambient. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the greens in this palette. So I'm going to go into Patina, which is this green here. I'm going to lay that in the middle and then put another shade on top. And then I'm going to go over it with Inspire on the middle of the lid, just to give it a bit of a contrast. I've got this glitter chunk shadow thing. This is by the brand Artist artist moon cosmetics i think i've got their glitter part in the shade exodia i don't know if i can show it without spilling it is so sparkly and i think that on the middle of the lid will look so nice so i'm gonna go in my next glitter glow and then i'm just gonna tap this just on the middle of the lid where i want the sparkle to be no way this sparkle looks beautiful so let's add that yeah i thought it was gonna be more gold I'm gonna use another glitter part. This is in the shade ATEM. It's got more of a gold chunk to it. Okay, I have this one by Technique. It's in the shade Gulf Coast. That on a bit. I also had this as well. This is by NYX, the Jumbo. I, I bet that could look nice, but I don't know if it's gonna go. It's not gonna sit on top of the eyeshadow that well. So probably best to leave this one. I keep forgetting to use this, it annoys me. I'm gonna go with an eyeliner in the waterline. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Milk. I feel like this is a must for this look. Sultry. And I'm gonna go into my Sigma brush and just drag that out a bit. Time for base. This is recent in my collection. This is the Revolution Bright Light 4-in-1 Face Glow. I've got it in the shade Gleam, which is the lightest one. I hate using this applicator because it just doesn't feel hygienic. I think I put too much on. Oh, well. Foundations, I'm going to use my Excess Revolution Skin Blur Soft Focus Skin Tint with the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation in the shade Neutral Sand. And I've been really liking this skin tint. I've been mixing it a lot with other foundations, but it's so nice on its own if you want to wear something really lightweight. It is like a serum type texture product. It is like no makeup makeup. This is also recent in my collection. This is the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. I've got it in the shade Porcelain. I mean, I have had it for ages, but I did get this one sent to me. So I'm trying it again. And I do prefer this concealer with a brush instead of a sponge because it's so light anyway that the sponge normally just soaks up the product. I really like it, it's quite nice. It's different to what I've got in my other concealers. It makes a nice change, because I'm always using the HMB one. 
But yeah, it's just it's just nice to go in something different, I guess. I've been really liking this. This is recent. This is the She Glam Glowing Up Skin Stick Bronzer in the shade Golden Sun. At first, it is a bit weird blending out. It doesn't blend as quick as this one from She Glam, the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour. It takes a bit of time. So I have a new blush shade to try. This is the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Pumpkin Patch. I thought this could look cute. It does remind me a lot of a Shy Boy. I'll just get Shy Boy out for reference. Actually, I feel like Shy Boy's got more pink to it. So this is Shy Boy and this is Pumpkin Patch. So this is the Shy Boy, as you can tell, it's got more pink to it and Pumpkin Patch is more leaning orange. I'm gonna use a sponge for Pumpkin Patch. So I'm gonna take a bit on my back of my hand and then I'm gonna go in it like that way. See what I mean? You don't need a lot of these products. They just give you that instant, instant hit of blush straight away. I remember I wasn't a massive fan of it when I tried the Shady Business shade. I honestly think it was the way I was using it though. Like with a sponge, I really can get on with this. I'm gonna get this out again. I really love this blush from L'Oreal, Life's a Peach. I feel like no one really speaks about it that much on social media, because I feel like it's old news, but I still personally love this. It's just such a nice sheen. Coral Tone Blush. Powder today, I'm gonna use my W7 Banana Dreams. This is my favorite powder brush. I never use anything else. It's by the brand Unicorn Cosmetics, and I just love the shape of it, and it's not too dense, which I think is perfect for powder. Tap it under my eyes where we put the concealer. And I do like to clean up a bit around here. Before I go into highlighter, I'm going to use the iHeart Revolution Wonderland Radiance Glow Fixing Spray. This will just help the highlighter grip onto my skin and we've just put a load of powder on so hopefully this can melt everything together. Okay, time for highlighter. This is new in my collection. So Revolution have released some new highlighters. They're Beam Bright highlighters. How bougie these look. They remind me of the Moira highlighters and blushes so this is in the shade diamond glow they did have other shades as well they had like a more gold leaning one and they had some pink toned ones so i went with the lighter shade i believe it looks so stunning <laughs> feels quite oh my god that is stunning i feel like i want to go with a gold highlighter today i feel like that's just going to suit me more I might mix these two together. I've got the NYX Greetings from Barbie Land cheek palette. There's a highlight in here that's stunning. It's the gold one in the middle. So I'm gonna put this on first, test it out, tell you what I think, and then I'm gonna use that over it. So let's see. Oh wow, that's very bright. Stunning. You don't need a lot of this because it just shines straight away. Put it on my nose, tap it on. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's a really nice highlighter. Oh, that's beautiful. It reminds me of like the What's Up Beauty highlighter, the Sarah Genty. Gonna go in the NYX Barbie Land palette and put a bit of gold into the highlighter because when I'm using green, I do like to go in with a bit of gold, especially for Christmas. Gold is a must for Crimbo. And I feel like I've put too much on, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> because I'm gonna put more highlighter on anyway. This is the Move by Mitchell blush in the shade Ice Ice BB. So this reminds me a lot of a lighter version of Drip Drip, but more on the warm tone side. It's got like a warm element to it. So I'm gonna put that on top too. Because highlighter, one highlighter is just never enough for me. I'm gonna put Ice Ice BB in the inner corner. So mascara time. I feel like I am gonna wear some eyelashes with this look. So I am gonna put on my Game of Thrones mascara first, just to give it a bit of stickiness for my lash. I forget how good this mascara is. Okay, whilst my glue is preparing on my lashes, this is new in my collection. This is the Timu Soft Velvet Gage Bear lipstick. Is this it? I don't even know if this is lipstick, but I thought this could be a good lip product to go in, maybe. Let's just, Give it a go. I'm not gonna use any lip liner. I just wanna see what this looks like. I think it's a lip stain, I don't know. Ugh. There was another product I was gonna go in. But let's just see what this looks like. I don't know if it looks a bit too, I don't know. It feels really lightweight, that does. I do have another red to go in, just in case. This is by the brand Me Beauty. I don't even know if you can get this anymore, but I do really like this shade Poppy which looks nice for Christmas. Let's just see how this dries down because I actually don't know. It feels like a lip oil. Right, I'm gonna use my Shein Half Lash. 
very, very minimal, these lashes. I feel like this is just the way it's gonna dry down. I'm gonna go into this. This is the May Beauty poppy shade. And I'm just gonna go over it a bit. Okay, now brows. I am gonna use my iHeart Revolution Honey Fair Brow Jam. I'm just gonna do this off camera, but if you are wondering, I will be using this and the Refi Brow Pomade, and probably the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen, and then finish it off with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Pretty much done now. So here is my festive green eyeshadow look ready for Grimbo. I'm actually really glad this got picked out out of my Patreon group because I didn't really use this a lot during 2023. If you have this in your drawer and you haven't used it as much as 2023, get it out, use it for Christmas. Uh, it's, it's definitely a good one for festivity. I really have enjoyed these new products. This is the Blush Pumpkin Patch and the Revolution New Beam Light Highlighter. This is absolutely stunning and you do not need a lot of it because it shows up so much. This Timu Lip Oil, I think it was okay. I don't know if it's the type of shade I'm gonna wear on a daily though. But yeah, that wraps up my video today. I hope this little video inspired anyone for Christmas. I literally have no idea what makeup I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wake up and just see if it's gonna be a chill one or not. Sometimes I like to wear makeup on Christmas. Sometimes I just like to, you know, just chill. But yeah, if you wanna be involved in my next palette poll where I hold every single Friday on my Patreon group, then I'll leave my Patreon group down below in my description box. If there is anything you're interested that I've used today, I have linked it down below. Most of the links are affiliated, which means I do get a slight commission if you click on it and you purchase through that way but yeah i hope you have a lovely day now every time watch this and i shall see you in the next one i shall see you wait should i see you next year no there should be videos coming after this but yeah i shall see you either way bye Thank you.